When you think of the planet Mars, you probably think of a dry, dusty, volcanic planet. This living roof is made of volcanic fragments. Take away the plants and it's not unlike parts of the surface of Mars. But Mars is also a cold, frozen planet and its surface is shaped by ice. At the poles, this ice is in thick polar ice caps at the surface. But as we move down towards the mid-latitudes, this ice is hidden in the subsurface. I study young, debris-covered water ice glaciers in Mars' mid-latitudes. Huge flows of water ice covered by a blanket of dust and debris. It's widely thought that under cold Martian climates, these glaciers have never produced meltwater at their beds. I study a specific type of landform that could challenge this, eskers. Eskers are ridges of sediment like this one that are laid down by meltwater flowing at the beds of glaciers. We've identified a new esker associated with a modern glacier on Mars, only the second of its kind to be discovered. Significantly, both of these eskers are located within strikingly similar geologic settings. Deep rifts in the landscape formed as hot magma penetrated into the subsurface from nearby volcanoes. So why of the thousands of glaciers across Mars mid-latitudes do we only see eskers associated with these two glaciers? Well, it seems that the hot magma has provided a vital heat source to the beds of these glaciers, which has allowed them to melt, and that heat source wasn't available in other parts. Glacial ice could provide a vital resource for future manned missions to, uh, to Mars. Studying these glaciers therefore provides vital insights into the water resources upon which future astronauts will depend. <laughs>